Hey, I'm Jesse. We're gonna make some dank mag today. So, basically, I've already got some stuff prepped here. Why don't you come in a little closer? You would start making um, macaroni and cheese from the box. You know, I got my, my noodles cooked here, boiling them for about eight to nine minutes, maybe 10. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the dankness. Get this crap out of there. Quarter cup of butter. Um, now this is where the, the magic happens. This is where it gets really dank. Having some trouble here with this stuff. All right, gotta get that butter all melted up. Luckily mine wasn't in the fridge and so it's not taking that long, because we're hungry. Um, where did I put that? Cheese packet from the, um, the macaroni and cheese box. Go ahead and throw that bad boy in there. Just love that artificial looking orange. This is how you want your cheese packet to look, nice and artificial orange. They say to put milk in there, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna take some half and half. We don't wanna show the logo here. Copyright infringement. I don't know, just kinda eyeball it. They say a quarter cup or so. Okay, by the way, this is on like low on the on the, uh, the stove here. About like two. Not quite low, cause you, you wanna melt some stuff. You know, gotta melt that butter. You gotta be really careful here with this milk or this cream, cause uh, if you don't stir, if you leave it sitting for too long, it'll just, it'll burn. So make sure you get the clumps all, uh, you know, the clumps of that. Look at that orange. Doesn't that just look natural? It's just like something, like a vegetable. That's like, this is like high-vis safety orange that you see at a construction site or something. That's how you want it to look. Okay, so now, got some other, this is, this is kind of, you know, aside from the cream, anyway. I got one uh, little slice of onion here, just diced up. I'm gonna throw those in there. Also, some bacon. This is where this is bacon. You know what, I just, sometimes I just love to eat bacon with my friends. But we're gonna put this, this is like uh, four strips of bacon. Like not too big, you know, smaller sized ones. We're gonna throw that in there too. So let's see how my toast is doing. Okay, that's, that's working. Get a piece of toast, do it nice and crunchy. We're gonna use that for breadcrumbs. <clears throat> you know what, I think I wanna throw some more cream in here. This is, we want it to be a little more uh, voluminous. Be generous with that cream, you know? Cream's good. I like to add more cream to make it more dank. There we go, that's looking good. Okay, this is where we start getting into some of the seasonings. Black pepper, Italian seasoning, and garlic salt. Now, these you just kinda gotta eyeball. Not too much garlic salt, you don't wanna, it's already salty enough, you don't wanna overdo it. Be pretty generous with this Italian seasoning, that's what gives it some, some extra dankness. That's what I'm talking about. You really can't overdo the pepper, especially because it comes out of this darn tin so slow. This is looking pretty dank. Yeah, this is gonna be a very, what's the word? Uh, not fragrant. Um, it'll come with me. We got, oh, by the way, preheated the oven to two, uh, 325. Glass, you know, thingamajig, whatever you wanna call that. Vegetable oil spray. Give that a good coat. Preferably over the sink so you're not waxing the floor. You have some Swiss cheese that we'll, we'll get to that in a sec. Now we're gonna mix this in, turn that off. Oh, you know what? I forgot my breadcrumb. So basically just kind of pull this apart, little chunks, about like that, like mini crouton size. Just gives it some texture, a little bit of extra mouth hit going on. So you want it to be a fairly well done piece of toast. Nobody likes soggy toast in their dank mac. You're gonna make a mess, just, just accept it. We're gonna have to use some paper towels after this. Okay, give that a good stir. Get all those bread pieces coated and stuff. By the way, I'm just kind of winging most of this. I just kind of came up with this one time. I was like, you know what, I want macaroni and cheese, but I want it to be more dank. This is this is where dank mac came from. Pour that into your noodles. Get as much of that goodness out of there as possible because that's where the dankness comes from. Fold this in nice and tight. Make sure all those noodles get nice and coated. Distribute the, uh, the dankness. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is, oh, this smells so good. Mm. Perfect meal for a summer afternoon when it's cloudy outside. Okay, so our last phone ran out of space. Okay, Pyrex cooking ware. Get this uh, dank mac, put it in this dealy bottle here. I just love that sound, you know, that like squishy kind of, the dank mac sound. That's how dank mac should be. If, if you listen to that, here, come close real quick. This is how dank mac should sound. That's the exact <laughs> sound you want your dank mac to have. Okay, now we're on to the um, non-name brand 
Swiss cheese. Pull out two slices. This just cover, covers this perfectly. It's like they made this cheese to fit inside this Pyrex thing. So go ahead, uh, that's a little bit small. Throw a couple slices on there. Actually, you know what? We're gonna, that's gonna be the last step, I'm sorry. We're gonna throw on some uh, unbranded Parmesan, 100% grated. That's the one I kind of get. Be pretty generous with that. I mean, Parmesan, you can't go wrong with Parmesan. I got, I get on pizza, dank mac, and raviolis. Okay, that is pretty much all the prep work you need. Go ahead and throw it in the oven. This is probably, again, 325. You don't want to burn it. We'll check it at 10 minutes, make sure it's not getting too crispy. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll catch back up with you. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, time to come out. Get these uh, olive print oven mitts. Oh man, come up here and look at this. This is what Dank Mac looks like when it comes out of the oven. Looks really dank, right? Probably gonna let it cool for a couple minutes, then we'll dish it up and we'll have our our Dankins. <clears throat> Hi there, so I think we're ready to dish up the Dank Mac. Whew. This, I'm not kidding, dang it. I'm not kidding you, this is, this smells incredible. There's one, and because I eat like a bird, I'm having a smaller size bowl here, but still a, a significant portion, proportionate to my body weight. This won't be left over for long, I'll tell you what. This Dink Mac, in my experience, disappears very quickly. Let's give it a try. Let's give this, this Dink Mac a try. <laughs> a little hot. But so dank. This is the dankest Mac I've ever had in my life. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna give some Dink Mac to my, um, <clears throat> my landlord. All right, um, Maximus, here's your, uh, your Dank Mac. Dank Mac. What is all this stuff in it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm. What's the word? What's the word? Dank. It's dank. So dank. 